Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's vlog is going to be a chit chatty update because we have got a lot to talk about today. Loads of things have happened over the last month and I just thought it'd be good for us to catch up before I come back with the usual home vlogs. So as you can tell I'm in the car. It's absolutely chucking with rain. It's a horrible day, but I've got loads of errands to run. I need to return something to Primark. I want to pick up something for my mum for Mother's Day. Um, I've got a couple of other things on my list of bits and bobs we need in the house. So I just thought I'd take you along and in between me doing those things and having a bit of a morning to myself um, and grabbing a coffee and whatnot, I thought I'd update you and chat to you as well. So I'm gonna take you along for my morning. But I did just want to premise this video and say before we begin that it feels really strange to be talking about things going on in my life when there are so many other things going on in the world and with all things that we navigate together that happen in our world it's difficult to know the right words and I just wanted to say that I'm thinking of anybody that's affected by the war. I personally have felt it really difficult to talk about and we've done a lot to support but still feeling very helpless and still um, navigating how I talk about it online. So if you don't want to hear me talking about Dubai and trips and my engagement and all sorts of stuff, I'm also going to talk about Benji's health and just give you a bit of a life update. But if that's not for you and you're not looking to consume that kind of content right now, then you can skip this video and come back to it in the future if and when is right for you. So I just wanted to say that um, and sending loads and loads and loads of love to everyone. I don't know if you can hear the rain. I actually don't mind it. It's quite therapeutic, isn't it? I don't mind these like grey, cold, rainy days. We're actually going to go to the cinema later. It's like a perfect day for it to see Uncharted, uh, the Tom Holland film. The last film I saw was House of Gucci, so it's been ages, about like over a month that we've um, been, not been to the cinema. So anyway, that's my day. Um, but yeah, I've got quite a lot to talk to you about today. So we're going to be covering a Benji update. Uh, the engagement and Dubai, uh, Disney, my birthday, and what else I've been up to. Um, so quite a few things to talk about this morning. I was just listening to the radio, the news on the way over here, and it's just been so difficult processing things. But also, there's been so much going on in my personal life as well, and... I've not known how to talk about it all properly, actually, because a lot of stuff that's been going on has not been about me directly. Let's start with Benji, because I wanted to let you know that he's actually home at the moment. He's taking a little bit of time away from work. If you missed any updates we shared on Instagram and in our Dubai vlog, then long story short, Benji has a heart tumour. It's benign, it's in a really awkward place, which means that doing surgery is going to be quite complicated. He was meant to have surgery and they pulled back and changed their mind, which meant that we were able to go to Dubai, he was still fit to fly, and the whole thing, I just can't even believe everything that happened in the way it did. I think I took it bad like I, I found it really hard and i struggled benji was incredible throughout the whole thing he really tried to keep his spirits high and a positive attitude now we're home and he's basically being monitored we need to go to london and see a heart tumor specialist and basically get some more answers and find out what this means for benji and his future because he is still going to need surgery eventually we just don't know when and how that looks so he is going to be home he's going to be in vlogs he's doing okay i think mentally he struggled a lot because it's a lot of unknown and the waiting and what this means for him long term but he's doing okay and he's cooking a lot at home making really lovely food which has been great especially on those days that i've had long editing days like 12 15 hours solid to get all the videos you've seen out for you um those travel vlogs take me a really long time yeah it's been nice having him around and being together and talking about everything but i just thought i'd let you know that he is ar around so that's been going on and then i've had a, quite a lot of stuff going on in my personal life as well it's difficult isn't it because on social media i obviously showed our engagement and our holiday and they were extreme highs of the month like amazing so grateful for all of that but i also behind the scenes have been dealing with 
quite extreme lows as well like really difficult stuff and i found it hard to even talk about it with friends i'm going to pop inside return these pajamas and then when i come back out we're going to talk about the engagement dubai Disney plans, birthday plans, that kind of thing. It was so warm in te uh, Tesco, in Primark. I'm gonna take my uh, coat off. I just met the loveliest viewer. I just love meeting you guys, so please never feel embarrassed to say hello because they always didn't say hi. And I just love it. I love chatting to people because sometimes this job can be weirdly a bit lonely. And I just love putting faces to names and I just really appreciate all of you that are here, honestly. Like, I just have such an amazing, supportive community of people. And that was just proven massively to me when I shared about Benj and then I shared our news of getting engaged. You guys were just so kind. I've never had so many messages in my life. And I just want to say thank you. I did my very best to reply to every single one. It took me a long time, but I just was so happy that so many of you were so happy for us and so many of you said you cried in our engagement videos. If you watched to the end of our engagement story video, you would have seen a little montage of the last five years of our life. And it was so special to put it together and see all the memories we've had and the life that we've had together but it was even more special to share it with you because so many of you've watched all those videos and been with me through the last decade and half of that has been with Benj and it's just so amazing having so many friends. It feels like I've got so many lovely people so thank you so much. I actually picked up a Costa while I was in there. Um, it's a hot cross bun latte and it tastes great. Mm -mm. Would order it again yeah that's delicious i feel like i have shown my ring and my hand a thousand times now but honestly it was the most amazing trip i absolutely loved dubai i, I knew i was gonna love it anyway but it was just one of those places that was so beautiful and impressive and the buildings were amazing it was really clean everyone was really lovely the food was great quality i just had such a great time i'd 100 percent go back i loved all the water parks i loved um the hotel i would really recommend going to dubai if you haven't been before can't wait to go back would 100 percent go back and the proposal and the engagement i can't even I can't even believe it. I can't believe I'm wearing an engagement ring. Like the lady I was just chatting to then said she used to be a jeweler and she just was complimenting how lovely my ring was. And I was just explaining that we did the whole thing together and it was just such a lovely experience. And I have absolutely no regrets. And we went to visit some friends yesterday who just had a baby. And um, oh my gosh, he's two weeks old and Ben and I got to have little baby cuddles. Uh, um, but they asked the question of, would you do anything differently? Would you have changed anything about it? And Apart from finding out about Benji's heart condition, which obviously was a complete shock. Um, other than that, that, we wouldn't have changed anything about the proposal or ring shopping together. It really was amazing. Oh, also, I'll show you what I picked up in Primark, actually, really briefly. So they've got a whole new bridal range. <laughs> so obviously, um, can you blame me, guys? I bought some bits. This little um, clip that says bride on it that was £2. Did I need it? Probably not, I have lots of clips, but I just couldn't help myself. I got this little um, veil that says bride to be that has like a little grip. I just thought this would be so fun if I film any videos around wedding wedding planning and everything, but also this could be good for my Hindu. I do actually have mini mouse ears that have the veil as well that I bought like two years ago. <laughs> I saw them and was like, I'm gonna need them one day. Um, but I just saw this as well and thought it'd be fun. It was four pound, so picked that up as well you know then oh and i got a sash too because i just saw it again and thought that'd be good two pound they also had um bride squad ones or team bride or whatever in pink and then they had white ones for bride to be which i thought was so fun i got some more of these bras i absolutely love these i am massively moving away from underwire bar bras if bars bras if i can help it and these are super nice i have them in the black white and like a dusty rose sort of color and these are 10 pounds i think yeah 10 pound for a pack of three and then i got two tops for spring i got this blue and white one and this white floral one that's a little bit cropped um but primark sizing i got this in an 18 and i got this in a 14 so you know try everything on is all i'll ever say oh and i bought a pair of shoes 
Um, the tops were £7 for the blue one and £9 for the white one. Apparently, the lady that served me said they do the white one in a skirt as well. That's apparently very lovely, but I didn't see it. When we went to Dubai, my nude heels, you might have seen in some of my Instagram pictures, started to break. And um, while I was in there, I noticed they had this style. So I thought I'd get these as well because they're just perfect for events and weddings. And you can't go wrong with like a nude pair of heels. But I love the size. They're not too big. And these were £10 as well. So... Yeah, I tried them on and they were really comfy. I think Primark do really great high heels, by the way. Like, that's where I get most of my heels, if you ever see me in heels. Not that I wear them very often, but, you know, there are moments. So that was what I got in Primark. Little Primark haul for you there. Let's talk about Disney, because this might take up a chunk of this vlog. I'm going to try and not talk about it too much, because honestly my disney holiday is so not important in the grand scheme of things but when i've spent the last three years talking about it and hyping it up and sharing our plans i think i have to let you know that we have made the decision to not go to florida at this moment in time technically we have cancelled the trip so we booked it in 2019 i moved it three times I was confident we were going for the first two weeks of May and with everything going on with Benji's health we just figured that two weeks with uh, roller coasters although he's allowed to go on roller coasters right now and we went on some water rides at the water park we just both felt like the timing wasn't there for him so we've agreed we're going to do Disneyland Paris instead just for a few days to get a little bit of a Disney fix walk down Main Street eat the snacks ride the rides you know would decide close to the time on what he feels comfortable doing and not doing. He's obviously going to speak to some specialists and establish exactly what he can and can't do moving forward. I mean, they have told him he's fine to do anything and live his life normally, but we just didn't feel like Florida was the right time, especially with the heat and the long haul flight. Like we did seven hours to Dubai, but um, we just came home and both said it's just not the right time i know a lot of you may be disappointed and i know a lot of you were like planning your trips along with me and um wanted disney vlogs they they will come and we will go to florida i'm really hoping we can go within the next year because obviously we're then going to start planning a wedding and a honeymoon and i know that will take up a massive chunk of finances and time so ideally i think florida we would like to do within the next year or so and Disneyland Paris in the meanwhile and truthfully Disney right now at Florida I kind of want to wait for Tron and Guardians to open now we're so close to them opening and I think Benj and I are quite keen to see if they bring back the Disney dining plan I want to just see how the heat is and the crowds are this May and there's just a lot of logistics that I just aren't sitting quite right with us right now that's not to say it's not a good time to go to Disney and my friends that have been going out are having a good time. I wasn't even too sad, truthfully, because it's not <laughs> important really. Once something like a heart tumour comes into the picture, then Disney trips just don't seem important. But they are important for us to have that magic and escapism and doing the things that we love and still having those experiences, you know. There's not much more to add on to it, really. Let me know if any of you are still going this year. I can live vicariously through you. And I'm really sorry um, if you were excited for vlogs. You can still get Disney vlogs. We're going to go, hopefully, June is when we're looking to go to Disneyland Paris. So if you're planning Disneyland Paris, I will do um, planning and um, what we book and organising, that kind of thing. We've also uh, had a cruise come up as an opportunity for us which could be really good because it's from Southampton and um, it's quite relaxing and I think it would really suit Benj and I so there'll be other trips and other things we're also looking into some UK breaks again some staycations with Bonnie so if you like all that please do stick around and um, stay with me because there'll still be Disney stuff we'll still have Disney vlogs there'll be Disneyland Paris first and then we'll replan for Florida oh my god <laughs> There are two massive seagulls. <gasps> Honestly, I've lived here my whole life and I still can't get over the seagulls. They are so big. The other thing I want to talk to you about was my birthday. And pre-pandemic, I lived for my birthday. I love birthdays. I normally would go away. So I've done Disneyland Paris on my birthday. And we were going to try and go for my birthday, but it's just too too close. But uh, I've done Cornwall with Benj. Um, what else have I I've been to Iceland on my birthday. I've done some amazing things. But obviously the last two years 
has actually meant that I've had two lockdown birthdays and there's not many people that can say that, two lockdown ones because we went into lockdown, the first full day was on my birthday and then we were still in a lockdown last year, I couldn't do anything, it's not like I could even go out for a meal or see anyone, so I felt like this year I was a bit overwhelmed with what the hell I meant to do because obviously the trip and the Dubai and engagement was so so exciting that I knew we weren't going to do a trip but I've basically ended up with a birthday week and my mum and I are doing a spa day a couple of days before. Benj and I are going to have a day together which is so lovely because he usually has to work on my birthday so we're going to have a day together and then on the weekend of that week we are going up to London and we've been invited to see Ed Sheeran which is just amazing I can't wait to talk to you more about that close to the time and we're also going to do some fun activities some of you know that when Benj and I go to London we like to try like theatre shows and we've done mini golf and we're going to be doing something different this time so I can't wait to film that so there's going to be loads of fun vlogs coming up so I might do either a birthday week or like a birthday vlog and then a London vlog either way you're going to get some fun things we're basically going to celebrate because we've got lots to celebrate as well you know it's all good and then in my notes I just put what else I've been up to and I just thought I'd end on a couple of things so I've been reading books I talked a little bit about it in the second Dubai vlog but I've been enjoying reading I've been doing loads of editing as I'm sure you can imagine um, I've been booking in some more jobs with some brands again some of my regulars were so kind and postponed my work whilst I was taking a little bit of time off to be with Benj so that's really exciting that I can get back on and do those projects I've also been seeing friends and family obviously and celebrating we bought a sofa for the kitchen which I shared on Instagram but I'll show you in the next home vlog if you missed it got it on Facebook marketplace for an absolute bargain so I'll show you that and what else have I been doing I'm gonna go to the cinema today um and just our wedding stuff we've been talking about wedding ideas and what we do and don't want and honeymoon suggestions we have no plans nothing in mind I think if the engagement's anything to go by we don't want tradition it's going to be very unconventional i think our wedding even on instagram yesterday i shared that i really want benji to be with me for the wedding dress shopping i want him to be there with me and um, a lot of people did not like that they did not agree so i found that since sharing and talking about even tiny bits about what we want for our wedding and, and honeymoon has um brought a lot of people sort of telling me what they do and don't want or what they did or didn't have and as much as I appreciate that in some contexts there's been a lot of like projecting things onto me or like that's the wrong thing to do or why would you do things like that and it has made me um want to pull back a bit <laughs> I've been like oh, honestly you do you boo you do whatever makes you happy and um we want to change the engagement and we're happy so far with the ideas we've got for what we want I don't know when it'll be probably a couple of years but we'll take you along with that journey and we also have booked to go to a wedding fair next weekend and a wedding show they're slightly different one's like a venue with suppliers and one's more of a showcase show thing um at the lighthouse in Paul so I'm gonna take you along for those things see if we can find anything what we like what we don't like and establish a bit more of like yeah what's out there and what's available as the years go on and the wedding industry has changed so much with covid that i have ideas but i'm not sure what would suit us we shall see so that's basically everything to update you on i'm feeling really grateful for everything i have so much love and support around me I'm grateful for all my brand partners, all of you that watch the vlogs, being able to get back and do my work again has made me so happy, sharing the Dubai vlogs, as I'm sure a lot of you can imagine, travel vlogs make me so happy, can't wait for our next ones, which will probably be this cruise that I can't wait to tell you more about, but I haven't signed a contract or anything official yet, but it's looking quite promising, so yes, we'll sh share more of that soon. And I'm just living in this lovely little engagement bubble with Benj and receiving so many lovely gifts and cards from our close loved ones. And yeah, just a massive, massive thank you for being here with me and having this little catch up with me. And I will be back very soon with the home vlog and we can talk a little bit more about things moving forward. But just, yeah, thank you. I could sit here and chat to you all day actually, but I do have to go home and we do have to go to the cinema. So I will see you again in the next ones. Bye.